guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We're here with the M3 manual, right? Manual because my boy just got his 325i manual BMW, his first BMW. So, I don't know if it's prepared to sell it. <laughs> so, anyways, how do you feel about getting your first BMW, honey? <laughs> About time. <laughs> my boy Johnny out here with an E90, boy! <laughs> oh Look at his beauty. I remember my first time. You were with me, right? No, it was oh, you, Sid. Gotta get every last drip, boys. We went so to so many people. We met to so many oh people. My God, so many, dude. And honestly, now we're thankful we didn't get anybody to respond. Because like, this is like the best. This bro. is. What? <laughs> no, honestly, that's, I just can't believe it. All right, guys. One for me, one for Johnny. Because I know he loves coffee, and he got a new car. So I got you, bro. <laughs> this is for the drive. He picked up a stick, and uh, he got it for a pretty darn good deal. He picked it up for four thousand dollars. Clean title with 130,000 miles. Uh, that's a steal, honestly. It's manual. Um, it doesn't have any music, so we're gonna try to figure that out. We played around with it yesterday, and I'm pretty sure he figured it out. Yeah, go. Actually, I'm going to get. I'll, get, I'll show you guys. Yeah, cold start real quick at the 325, since I've never had one of these guys. Like these are the base of the base. All right, boy. Jota, can you turn it on, bro? Huh? Can you turn it on? Oh yeah. <laughs> Is it on? Uh, yeah, it's on. <laughs> okay. Nah, I'm not trying to bash on him. Nah, shout out to Johnny. Um, today, guys, pretty much gonna be focusing on his car. We're gonna head down to the DMV, try to get it registered. After we get it registered, we're gonna head down to pick up pole, pick up the, the Bluetooth. Um, I have an amp. So we're gonna pick up a Bluetooth because it's corroded. We're gonna pick up an amp. I have it in the garage, and we're gonna try his radio with my radio to see which one of those three is causing an issue because he's an SOS light, which is usually caused by either your uh, your stereo not working, your Bluetooth not working, or your amp not working. So it's either one of those three. Luckily, I have a stereo on the M3. I have an amp that I purchased a long time ago. Uh, actually, not a long time, about a week ago, two weeks ago. And then we're just gonna go buy a Bluetooth so we have everything, and then we're gonna go ahead and diagnose it, figure out the issue, um, and then fix that. And then hopefully we're gonna go to Rancho Cordova, pick up some parts for the M3. I wanna pick up some LCI tail lights. I wanna pick up all the rest of the cables for the CIC retrofit. So had a couple things to do today, but mostly we're gonna be in Jotha's car. We gotta get him back on the road with his new car. So let's go back to the DMV, because we were there earlier, long story. Screw the DMV, honestly. And uh, yeah, I'm enough talking. Look at him, I'm backing out right now. Oh my lord, out here flexing. Last night he took it to his parents and they were so proud and they, were, they loved the car. I mean, guys, nothing beats a BMW, honestly. Let's go and roll the window. Which way are we going? Taking back roads, Habibi. Okay. Let's do it. Look at the BMW Escort over there, boys. And we're here at Le Schwab. Uh, the car has a small little squeaking noise in the rear, so we're trying to figure out what that is. And shout out to Le Schwab, because they normally check it out for free. So, yep, that's why we're here, boys. Anyway, so we just got out of Le Schwab and uh, dropped off the car. They said it's gonna take a few hours, actually, so who cares? We're gonna go to the DMV. Look up there she is. Saying goodbye. <laughs> Saying goodbye. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go down to the DMV, we're gonna hopefully register this car, and then once we register, we're gonna go pick up some parts that we forgot the toolbox. How did you forget the toolbox? Hey, that was not only my responsibility, what the heck? How did I forget the toolbox? Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> oh. 8 a.m., but uh, it's kind of, as you can see, it's pretty empty. And my boy Jonathan's in line, so I guess it's so worth it. Alright, how's it going, Johnny? <laughs> uh, pretty good. What pretty happened? Good. Uh, the car is now officially mine. That's what's so, up. So you're a proud owner I'm of a proud owner of a BMW. And okay, that's good. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something else to be cheesy. No. Clean title. Alright guys, so uh, I only got one of these stupid tail lights. Picked up two online, picked up one here for 75. Guys, these tail lights, everyone charges like 154. I'm like, for real? Like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, whatever. We picked up a few for myself. So I'm at like, I'm so far into the conversion. I just need one more piece. And I'm into the conversion like 275. So it's not that bad. Um, considering there's some aftermarket sets for like 315, 350. So I'm going to try to keep it under an aftermarket set. But at the same time, have an OEM one, which is a lot better. Uh, but it's not about me right now. It's about Johnny. So we're about to head down. about to get something to eat because it's been kind of a long night. I mean, a long morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely been a long way. We're stupid tired because we also, it was a long night last night. Like we were, we were driving everywhere to get that car and stuff. So now we're gonna head over to uh, what's it called, pick and pull, and uh, hopefully we can get that Bluetooth speaker and uh, a speaker as well because he needs one of his speakers are blown out. Um, but yeah, but before that we're just gonna go eat something real quick because we haven't eaten. 
All right, Johnny, it's been a long morning, my G. Let's get some Taco Bell. That's a healthy diet. Some of that Taco Bell. Might as well. It's our favorite. Uh, honestly. Other than in and out and Burger King. <laughs> and BJ's. In and out if we feel like we're balling. <laughs> Taco Bell and Burger King when we're broke. And then Chili's and we're, when we're, you know, when we made a good deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or we fixed the car park. Anyway. Captain Nachos. Indulge, then work. You done, Johnny? All right, boys, we are finished. <sighs> it's time to go to pick the bowl. We just found the Bluetooth amp. It's in Jonathan's hand right there. So module, hopefully, Bluetooth hopefully that's all we need. Module. Bluetooth control module, exactly. So uh, we get that thing for like 21 bucks here, I think. Yeah, hopefully that's all we need. And we, your car should have music, my dude. All right, guys, so we just got finished with pick and pull. We're actually here at Le Schwab where we dropped off the car for an inspection. Uh, so, turns out it looks like it could be the rear differential. Um, he's saying they could just see fluids, but it could be also the rear differential. So, we might have to get him a new rear differential. It's not the end of the world, but um, it's not as good as an axle. So, we will have to get that replaced, unfortunately. Also, they told us that you need brakes and, you know, better tires. And this is all extra stuff they say. Uh, but when I drove it, Brakes seem pretty fine and tires at decent tread. Maybe he has inner wear, uh, but regardless, he plans on switching out the tires and rims anyway, so we're not too worried about that. But yeah, let's just pick up his car and then we're gonna head back. No, but uh, we're here at BMW and I wanna get him something from BMW since he got a new car. You have to surprise him with something. So I don't know, some plates, maybe something for his car. Not too much because I'm broke as shit, but you know, something decent. Isn't that sick? I'll take two of those then. Too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Son. From Nissan too. BMW Motorsport. Damn boy. You already know. <laughs> That's so sick. Damn, you know, I, I got one for myself as well. Couldn't pass it up. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what's up with the BMW store. I just love it so much. I just had to pick one up. I have it spoiled myself for some of the BMW in a little bit. And yeah, I got the plate the other day, but that was 50% off. I mean, 40 bucks, it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, my boy out here got his first BM. Check that out. It's so super, super sick. Anyways, let's start working on this car and make it look beautiful because uh, it has a couple flaws and it has no music. So let's go ahead and start. Let's get into it, all right? Alright guys, went ahead and swapped out the Bluetooth, swapped out the amp. Let's go ahead and see if the Beast has any music. We did test it out with the loop last night, and we figured out the Bluetooth is probably the problem. So we're gonna go ahead and figure out if that the Bluetooth we just purchased is any good. First off, we're getting sound. I noticed that when we actually replaced the Bluetooth, but we didn't get music. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and test the relay one more time to see if the Bluetooth um, is again defected. I think we got another defective Bluetooth. Not really sure. We'll go ahead and figure that out right now. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and test out the loop. So we're going to go ahead and put this seat down. Ooh, swooping, jump in the back seat here. Set you guys down real quick. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, well, um, let me go ahead and unplug this Bluetooth and then show you. All right, guys, so basically, uh, a way to test it, we just removed the Bluetooth. And uh, basically what happens is if you have no audio and have an SOS light, um, it's because there is uh, a break in your loop and basically how this thing works is let me go ahead and try to get this thing out Basically as you guys can see there's a red light coming out of here and uh, If the module is broken, it won't send the red light back into it So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and plug in this loop It's just pretty much a loop and you plug it in there and you would test this on your amp You'll test it on your Bluetooth. So we're gonna throw it in there. All right as soon as I plug it in There's music Weird ass music. But look what happens when I unplug it. The loop is gone. So basically, 
100%. That's not the right Bluetooth, and uh, the old one is messed up, so that sucks. So it looks like we're gonna have to get another Bluetooth, which is sucky. <laughs> Audio works. I mean, let me just check if there's an SOS. Yeah, so he still has an SOS. So it's either he has to get that stuff coded out or just get a Bluetooth. So uh, either or, but I think we're just gonna get it coded out. We really don't need it for this car. That's not one of his things he even cares about for this car. So music check. I think now uh, we're gonna go ahead and give him, let's see where that's at. Give him a blue push start. If you guys want a blue push start, link down in the description. We're gonna give him a blue push start mainly because his is really worn out. His is disgusting. And blue is one of the nicest colors, honestly. So yeah, let's go ahead and slap that in this car real quick. So before, and, all right, and that's the blue push button. So we are good to go on that. Let me go ahead and just make sure everything's good, yeah. Where's the key at? <laughs> oh, let's say what the heck's going on. Here's one. There we go. With some music, all right. Ah, we're gonna have to unplug that speaker. That speaker's blown. All right, guys. So, so far, we got the music working. We got a blue push button, all right? So now he's gonna detail the interior because the, the interior just needs a little bit of cleaning. It's actually not too bad, but uh, it's just basic detail. Yeah, not, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. And then we're gonna go ahead and code the car with some nice features, so he'll be set. All right, boys. Go ahead and use the vacuum real quick. Vacuum up the interior, detail it, and then the car should be good to go. We got music, push button, clean interior. What else do you want? Then we just gotta fix the differential, hopefully, next week. We have to order that bad boy. I thought you were using brake cleaner. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to use. <laughs> it's brake dust. Brake cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. What are you talking about? Really perfect. You're supposed to use windshield washer fluid for the rims. No, you're not. <laughs> Anyways, coming to the interior, Jonathan feels really proud of himself. And uh, he should be because it actually looks really good. Interior still needs a lot of work. Obviously, we're gonna swap out the whole interior. We're gonna swap out the steering wheel. There's a lot of things we want to do to this car. The gray interior is not staying for long, uh, but he does have a really good setup with the whole black trim already comes with the car, which is something I've never had in any of my BMWs, which is so annoying. So that's super nice. Uh, and then also in the interior, cleaned it up, all vacuumed up, looking pretty. So yeah, you just clean up the rims and that'll be the end of that. All right guys, so that pretty much concludes the video. Jonathan is going a little bit crazy on his rims here. He's going above and beyond. Uh, my brother's out here taking pictures of his new wheel setup. What are those, 16s on, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but he's taking really good care of the car right now. It's looking really good. Shout out to my boy, the all over here, all of a sudden he's a photographer, so shout out to him as well. <laughs> you guys should check out his Instagram. He has been posting a lot, so if you guys wanna check out my brother's car and all the stuff that he posts, Instagram will be linked down below. So remember guys, as soon as we hit 50K, we will be doing a giveaway on some E90. Something be, like this. Something like this. Not this. Something. Yeah, something like this at 335 and E92. Could be anything, probably even a Z4. Huh? 335? 335, man, or a Z4. So if you guys are down for that, as soon as you get 50K, we'll be doing a giveaway on that. So we're super stoked for that. Hope you guys are too. But yeah, without further ado, guys, love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.